All right, guys, Mason from AR500 Armor again. Got another customer submitted question here. It's a pretty interesting one, so we want to run it by you. Does it hurt more wearing steel armor when you get hit or ceramic or composite armor when you get hit? Uh, and the answer is kind of difficult to describe, right? So we're going to go ahead and show you some different plates so you can kind of see the difference. The biggest factor when you're talking about physical pain while wearing a plate and getting shot is going to be back face deformation. Um, it is important, of course, to remember that Getting shot wearing armor is infinitely better for you than getting shot not wearing armor, either way. Um, but we're gonna dive into that and kind of show you the differences, okay? Uh, we're gonna look at this plate first. This is one of our three plus 10 by 12 flat regular plates, okay? Um, this plate is a test plate. It's been around for years. We've shot it a lot. Um, hence the coating is pretty much all gone at this point. Um, but most of the rounds that were shot at this were gonna be 5.56 five, and 2.23 um, of various types. And like I said, it's pretty old. So a lot of different rounds have been shot at this. But if you look here, you will see some pitting on the plate. That's pretty normal, okay? Um, but if you look where the impacts are and then you flip the plate over to look at the back, you will see that there's really not a lot of back face deformation on the plate. Now, I can feel small dimples where some of these rounds hit the plate so that you know they were hit. But if you look at a side profile, you'll see that you can't really tell. Um, like I said, I can only tell by feel. Does that mean it doesn't hurt when you get shot wearing this plate? Absolutely not, right? You are still gonna know it and you're gonna feel it. But looking at back face deformation, there's very little with steel and that is kind of one of the nice points about steel. Now, when you look in comparison to a polyethylene plate, which is considerably lighter than a steel plate. Um, so when you look at how the plate performs, you will see on the front, it doesn't look all that much different, right? You can see a little bit of bulging here, but it's when you flip the plate over and you see how the back looks, that you see the difference in the two materials. There are some pretty giant ridges on here, right? And that is because the way these plates are designed, they collapse in when they get hit, right? And that is intentional. Keep in mind that both of these plates are survivable and are rated by the NIJ for back face deformation to be within the standards, right? But you will see how they perform differently because they're different materials. If you look at a side profile of this one, you can really see um, the ridges and the bulges on the back of the plate where the rounds get struck, all right? Also guys, we do offer a product that helps to mitigate blunt force trauma when the plates get struck. They're called trauma pads. You can find them on our website. They're a pretty inexpensive option. You just throw them behind the plate and they help absorb the impact when the plate is struck with a round, thus kind of saving you a little bit of pain, right? If you guys wanna check out those specifically, we have a video at the link below that goes very in depth into trauma pads, all right? So go ahead and check that out. As far as which one's gonna hurt more without actually strapping it on and taking a round to the chest, um, it's really hard to determine that. And I really think it all kind of comes back to what we made the point at the beginning. You're gonna be much better off wearing armor and taking around than you are not wearing armor and taking around, right? But when you look at back face deformation, you can kind of see the steel armor does have a little bit less on the back face deformation side than the poly plates like this do, right? Uh, that was a great question, guys, and I really hope that you keep these coming. Uh, it keeps the customer service team in business. So if you guys have any more questions or concerns, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can send us a direct message on Facebook or Instagram. Um, and of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want more content like this. Um, otherwise, guys, if you have questions, you can just give us a call or shoot us an email to the support inbox. I want you guys to go ahead, uh, take care, and stay safe out there.